What's up guys? It's Raf in the Raf Cave and welcome back to another unboxing. Now this here is a brand new upgrade for my streaming microphone. Nothing here. So you guys know I had the Samsung mic before. Fantastic, fine. But as I was strolling through the aisles of Best Buy, lo and behold, a brand new mic from HyperX has come out. This thing has been the rage, and I want it for the Raft Cave. Let's unbox this bad boy right after this. All right, guys, welcome back. So with this mic here, whew, this thing looks badass. Lights up all red when it's on. Turns off when it's muted. It looks incredible. Red and black is my favorite color. It's got a freaking shock mount attached to it. Variable like volume controls in this thing. This thing is loaded. And it does four different types of modes for recording. It's mind blowing. Well, let's check this out. Let's get this unboxed. Before we do that, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Welcome to Raft Cave Club. Let's check out this awesome mic. I want to get this hooked up. And show you guys the difference in sound. Let's get it. All right, guys, here's the box. You got quadcast in front, got some various, you know, anti vibration shock mount, tap to mute with LED indicator designed for streaming. Got a design award, two year warranty that comes with it, compatible PC, PS4, and Mac. And the side just tells you all the different devices it works with. Comes with a USB cord and a mount adapter. If you got a boom boom mic or something, or an arm you want to attach to. Got four selectable settings, four selectable modes. You got the stereo mode, the, uh, omnidirectional, the cardioid, and the uh, eight, eight way. So this thing's got great, great different settings. You got your USB and headphone adapter if you want to plug in your headset or PC into it. You got the volume control on the bottom. This thing just looks amazing, guys. This thing's awesome. All right, without further ado, let's get this unboxed. You know what time it is, guys. Black pin. Okay, get this open here. One little tape on top. Oh, is there a bottom one? Yes, there is. Oh. Got some writing on the inside. Don't know what that's all about. Okay. And looks like all right. All right. So a couple of documentation in front. HyperX has you covered. Probably just a thank you, congratulations on joining the family. Wonderful. Quick start guide tells you uh, what the devices and the dials and the hookups are all about. Pretty standard stuff. All right, guys, here's the um, instruction manual. Quick start guide. Uh, let you pause the video if you want to look at it in more depth. But you see your four different directions for the uh, the recording: stereo, omnidirectional, cardioid, and bidirectional. I'll be using the card already because I'm going to be always in front of the microphone. But, you know, if you have a uh, stereo, left and right, if you're doing that kind of thing, or if you're talking to somebody in front of you, then you do front and back. Or if you have a, a group a group chat, then you can capture everything. Connect your headphones to it if you want. All kinds of good stuff. All right. Enough talk. Let's get this unboxed. Ooh. That looks gorgeous. Nice. Actually in front of me, not just pictures. This looks great. Oh man. Long USB and a nice braided one too. Fantastic. Excellent quality here. And you get the little adapter in here. Very nice. Attach that to my arm. Perfect. Man, this is this is nice guys. You have your gain control on the bottom. Probably keep it around two and a half or so because it'll be close to me all the time. 
this is a little uh, lever here to adjust the tension and it's on the desk not much wiggle room but I won't have to worry about the stand because I'll be putting it on the arm on the back of it you have your USB and headset input your controls are on the back here so I'll be keeping it click right there carteroid that's me so it's got a pop filter built in so this nice little screen here so that's pretty sweet and of course that's your mute on and off all right well, let me get it plugged in and hooked up and then we'll see what it sounds like all right guys be right back all right guys so for right now when you want to take this off the mount just unscrew unscrew this tabletop mount this screw comes out and this should oh there's a little screw in here too oh i see a little screw here take that out then slide this out and then you can attach it to oh well, looks like there's a washer in here or something Yep, there's two washers, so make sure you don't lose them. All right, so this goes like so. Doesn't matter which way it goes. Then the screw goes inside. On one side there, locks in. Then you have the other screw on the other side, tighten it down. Gonna find the groove here. There we go. Okay. So it looks like I won't be able to use my old shock mount because it already comes with a shock mount, right? So we'll take this off. This is my old shock mount. Very heavy sturdy shock mount which we don't need anymore these are nice but don't need it no more <clears throat> all right hyper x threaded end right on here boom easy as that Easy as that. <clears throat> All right, so how do I want to do this? Now, since it's carteroid, <clears throat> it's only going to listen to me in front. So I kind of want to turn it almost. I wonder if I have to loosen up these rubber bands and then move it over. I think I do. All right, so I'm gonna loosen up these bands so I can rotate the mic to point where I want it to record. So now I can rotate it because this is the front here. You know, the dial is in the back. The front is where it's gonna record. So I wanna make sure that that is like right where the mic will be, you know, my arm. So when I put this back, I wanna be close as possible to where it's gonna end up. So it looks like this would probably be the closest, this position. So let's put the rubber bands back in. And one more set at the bottom. Boom. And boom. Perfect. All right, so now. So now it's right in front of my mouth when I'm speaking. Perfect. See, fantastic. 
So I'll tighten this down. Boom, there it is. This is great because it's a lot lighter than my old uh, Samsung mic. So the arm is not bending down as much. It's easy to move back and forth. And what's great about this mic is when, if you're gonna be farther away, you can turn down the gain on the bottom. Very easy, this is very smooth when you turn this. So that way I can keep it over here, still talk and be able to capture my voice. And if it's gonna be close, then you turn it down a little bit so it can be closer. It's fantastic. No more going to the OBS and moving the sliders up and down. No more, you know, going inside and turning the, the volume control or gain control. Super sleek at the bottom. Let's get this fired up, turn it on, and then hear what I sound like. I'll be right back, guys. Well, before I come back, I'm gonna plug this long USB cord into my PC. Woo! All right, be right back. All right, guys. Here I am. I'm speaking to you now from the brand new quadcast from HyperX. So right now I have it on volume two of the little rocker at the bottom. There's uh, five dots. So this is on the second dot. And it, I think from the OBS meter that this is uh, where it should be uh, volume wise. So I think it's just blends right in so yeah all i did was plugged it in usb it lit up automatically and i just changed the uh the setting in the computer and now it recognizes it It was simple so as you can see in the back here this little dial right here right now i have it on carteroid which is just basically right in front so the front is right here which is perfect so it's on my boom arm right here i'll attach the wire later to keep it nice but as i move this away I can see that my my voice volume has gone low so if i move the dial up to the number three this is that level three on the microphone that well i'll have to listen back to it later but <clears throat> the, bet, the good thing is i don't need to have the microphone always in front of me turn the gain up listen to me go closer if i need to then turn it back down to number two super simple guys and what's also great guys is if you got to mute the microphone right away you don't have to grab your mouse and click something. You don't have to go to your stream deck and push a little mute button. You don't have to reach behind your microphone and push a little button you can't really see. All you got to do, guys. You see how simple that is, guys? When the light is off, now you can hear me. Isn't that amazing? That is absolutely fantastic. This is the king of microphones. This is the king of USB mics. And I've had, I've had the Blue Yeti, I've had the Samsung. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> I'm going to play a clip of my old Samsung mic, and then maybe you can hear the difference from that to this. Who knows? But I'm going to play that for you now. We'll cut the video, edit that in. So this right here is the Samsung G-Track Pro. So this will be my previous mic. That I've used for a while. You can check out all my previous videos. I've done unboxings with this mic, trailer reactions with this mic, and of course live streaming with this mic. But you know, that HyperX is a pretty beast. And this one here, you know, you got to get your own shock filter for it. You got to get your own pop filter for it. So it it needs a few add-ons, but it's been a good mic. But uh, yeah, the other one, Mike, is going to be a little better. So, yeah, out with the old. Say goodbye to Samsung G Pack Track Pro. You've been a fine mic at for for your time, but let's move on. And now we're back to my current HyperX mic. This thing is beast, guys. I love it. Got a nice USB cable that comes with it. You got an amazing mute function on top. It lights up shock mount attached to it it's light lightweight so it's not going to bend your arm down this thing is great guys let's see if i tap on the bar if it makes sounds hopefully not too loud for you guys i'm typing on keys i'm clicking the mouse 
So, well, I love this thing, guys. I am super happy I have this one. I just love the way it looks. Something that lights up. Something colorful. That's going to be in my future streams and unboxings and trailer reactions. But, guys, check this out. Got this one at Best Buy. Uh, $139.99. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to pick one up yourself. And, uh, heck yeah, guys. Raft Cave upgraded to the new mic. All right, guys, thanks for watching this unboxing and setup and mic test uh, video. If you like this one, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Welcome to the Raft Cave Club. And I'll see you guys in the next video or in my live streams. Otherwise, you guys have a great day. Get this mic. I'll talk to you next time. Home Theater Rules. Raph out. See ya.